boys and girls, I have another story to share. And this book I bought at the Northwood Book Fair a few years ago. And I think it's really funny. So I hope you listen for the humor in it because it's pretty entertaining. But I also want you to think about the meaning of the story. Remember we talked about theme and kind of the purpose and is there a lesson to be learned? And I truly think this author is trying to teach you a little bit of a lesson. I'll give you a few clues before I read it and then we'll talk about it at the end. This book is called Tech, the Modern Cave Boy. And you can see that the book itself kind of looks like an iPad. And the author definitely called the boy Tech for a reason. Do you know what that might be? Kind of stands for technology, even though it's not spelled the same way. This little boy's name is Tech. Now, technology can be great. Where would we be right now if we didn't have it for remote learning? So it's important it serves a purpose and it's fun but you can use it too much and this little boy uses it too much and he doesn't get out and see the big beautiful world around him he's kind of in his room all day and all night and he doesn't visit much with his parents or with his friends and he doesn't get out and get exercise and he learns a lesson in this story. So remember, everything's good as long as we're in a balance with it. If, if the scale tips too much and we're doing one thing way too much and it's limiting other things that are good for us, we need to think about that. All right, so I'm going to read this story. I hope you enjoy it. Tech, the modern cowboy. Patrick McDonald. And you can see there's a password here to get into the book, so I'll just pretend I know it. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. It worked. Be good listeners. Once upon a time, way, way back, a long time ago, or maybe yesterday, there lived a little cave boy named Tech. Tech was pretty much your typical troglodyte child. Yes, he did have a beard, but everything was kind of hairy back then. Ugh. All cave boys lived in caves, of course. But the problem with this cave boy was that he never wanted to leave his, even when friends came to visit. Hi, Tech! Ugh. He has a friend named Larry who's a dinosaur. In the evening, an eerie glow came from Tech's cave making it impossible to see the twinkling stars above. Beep, boop, bop. Tex stayed alone in his cave room, glued to his phone, his tablet, and his game box, all day, all night, all the time. Beep, bop, boop. should have never invented the internet, Tech's mom grunted to Tech's dad. Beep bop boop. Outside, the real world was evolving, but Tech couldn't have cared less. Beep bop. Ugh. Tech missed out on all the winter fun during the Ice Age. Boop, bop, beep. And his friends are out here building snow animals and sledding. He never even learned his dinosaur names, identifying them as a whatchamacallit-saurus, 
a who's datasaurus or a flying I don't give a dactyl. The hours, days, and months were slipping by. Beep bop boop, beep bop beep. My brain may be the size of a walnut, but even I know it's not a healthy situation, said his best friend Larry. I wish Tech would come out and play. And he's holding a basketball. And Larry is bouncing it against his little cave here. Thump, thump, thump. Sigh. Beep, bop, boop. Tech's parents tried everything to pry him away from his gadgets, but Tech wouldn't budge. I need to light a fire under that boy's butt, grumbled Tech's dad. Except I haven't invented fire yet. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Boop, bop, beep. No one could get Tech's attention. Not even the tribe's grand poobah, his high muckety mucks, nor Darla O'Duddy and her dinosaurs for a better tomorrow. All seemed lost until beep bop boop big papa the village volcano had an idea he could make fire he could shake things up big time so big papa can you make a prediction what do you think he's gonna do the volcano Everything is kind of flying down here. The dinosaurs are up in the air. So that volcano erupted. The eruption shot Tech and his phone, his tablet, and his game box out of his cave and into the sky. Tech crashed. He was totally disconnected. Tech awoke, breathing in the sweet, fresh air, basking in the warm sun, and tickled by the cool grass. He wondered where he was. He looked around and discovered a dragonfly, a tiger lily, a ginkgo tree, a hairy elephant, the hairy people, an awesome, awesome asaurus. He hadn't noticed these things before because he was in his room all day, all night, every day. The big beautiful world. Sweet. Tech left his gadgets behind and ran to find his good friend Larry. On his way, he kissed his dad and mom. Ugh, groaned his dad. I need to invent shaving cream. Tech hopped onto a wheel, plucked a fresh apple, whistled to a dodo bird, and surprised his sleeping friend. Beep. Tech and Larry laughed and played all day in that sunny garden. Look how much fun they're having.
and in the evening they reached for the glorious stars. And that's the end. Did you like that story? Do you think the author might be trying to tell you something to teach you a little lesson? What do you think it might be? Well, I think it is that tech is great, technology, but we can't let it overtake our lives. We can't stay in our rooms all day, all night, every day. That we need to balance technology with other things, with visiting our family, with getting outside, with doing other activities we enjoy to do, doing we enjoy doing. So keep that in mind, especially this summer when you have those Chromebooks, all right? It's great to practice on your Chromebook and to have some fun. It's great to play your video games, but just don't do it all the time. Enjoy the world around you too, all right? And it kind of goes along with the other story I read called The Busy Tree, where we really need to see nature. We need to appreciate it and um, don't take it for granted. All right? So you have a great day, and thank you for listening. Bye!